B bombsite is the target, and therefore you're attacking the one player. You're attacking just Kenny S, who will not really be able to do anything. Hopefully gets one kill and hopefully survives. Yeah, just is in quotation marks here. Just remember that at home. Still a minute and seven seconds. They're going to be smoking it off. He actually wants to try and body block it to see if he could create a little bit. He could look over it, but he's very exposed up here. Crouching down. They still should be able to see him. I'm fairly sure they can see the top of his helmet there. But let's find out. He turns for the flashbang. What he thought was a flashbang. There's a little bit of one instant headshot. That's such a good move. Now everything else is just cherry on top. They can go for the retake. They can try and see if they could do this and maybe get a chance to stop Fnatic. And Fnatic has to set up early for the retake. They've actually pushed towards CT spawn. No one's covering banana that's a must win fight and nexa has it golden finding kenny yes but now it's on three players coming up banana yeah and they have one flashbang there on nexa and a diffuse kit they set it up nicely then then might be all they need oh. running a shot from Jax crims a bit out in the open a bit of an off angle and Jax will continue taking down crims as well leaving golden in a one versus four he's already got the one kill but he's gonna have to try and ace them while stopping the defuse that's already coming through golden and he's not going to be quick enough here i think that defuse is a second away and golden he gets one more shot but that was too much to handle he'll try and see he'll get the ace at the end but it is not enough to save the them, and G2 will win the round. I think they're going to try and boost over now. If they get the kill, that's huge because otherwise, both Nexer and Amanek on the other side had two smokes and Molotovs as well. They're trying to see if they can just burst their way through. No sign they were coming, and that's an instant opening to the B bomb site. That's so well done. Kenny trying to swing to win a fight there, but. And they're going to get a round out of it. They're going to tie things up. So, we have to say, after such a good piss run as well, remember, Golden was stellar. Delayed take a banana for the CT side. Golden's blind. He can do nothing. Good trade from Flusha. But again, utility from G2 is pretty solid. He's brought down, Ooh. and he's he's dead now. He's dead for sure. Launched up almost over the gate. They know that something is amiss here in the middle. And Amanek and Nexa, they just have to buy time over at that B-bomb side. That's really the only thing that matters right now. Just try and stay alive. 25 seconds left. P250 here at the back. And Amanek, he's not got that much to work with either. So just the pistols defending B at the moment. And there comes the flank. Crims turning it's for bomb. About, It's over. Yeah, oh, you're right. That is the bomb. That's even worse. What a, what a pick to find. Yeah, for, for the second round, for how convincing it was and how aggressive it was through the smoke, this one, they get stalled out. Because you've no idea what the attacking T side is actually doing. So G2, they, they take that uh, guesswork all away. They go look, they see no one on the A side of the map, and they decide to go and be aggressive. Flusher in the middle of a lake of fire. But it's the MP9 that will bring him down. He was so trapped. Brolin up mid. There is one in Cubby. Brolin won this fight a lot yesterday towards that half wall, and JW is going to go down for free. He might get Kenny, but Hunter surely, surely going to take that. And there it is. Saw the shoulder first, prepared the whole way. But now Brolin's put into play, missed his opportunity. He comes back for another. He knows there's one in pit, dinked already, but he can still challenge for the fight. Hunter moving up along the wall. Brolin again, a great read. He flicks over so quick, and now pit is exposed, and now it's taken over by Fnatic. That is disgusting by Brolin. He should have been dead. He was dinked. You, you said they knew he was even, and still he was quicker with that creep. Crims, that's an easy shot on Nexa, and that leaves Amanek. One versus two, and the bomb, well, it's not planted yet, but he's got almost no health. He's got no kit, no grenades or anything. Yeah, he needs. He needed to find someone, sneak in a kill, and at least make it a one-on-one. -on -one. When the bomb goes down, he might just try and gun for it anyway, but this will be a very tough fight to win, and Crims in the perfect position. Fnatic, they bring it right back, even it out at 2-2. This pressure is going to force a lot. Actually, both sides, a minute remaining, and each shot only has two smokes. This is going to be a Broly round. That's a good peek from Kenny, as fast as ever. Four players here to defend still. Nice to see Kenny hit that shot. That should be one of the super weapons they have on this team. He gets golden mid-air, trying to escape. That's a brilliant shot once again. And JW and Flusher, yeah, they got the mid control, but they got picked apart waiting. And they actually were waiting. They were set up. They were expecting G2 to come and retake it. They just couldn't win the fight against Kenny. I like that G2 kept up the pressure, stayed in those positions, especially considering two player on each side, so no reason to fall back. Tough part now is even with this one man loss, there's still an opportunity for Fnatic. One player in the bomb site. If Kenny misses a shot, Jax can be in some trouble. Kenny can also get smoked off. JW has that in his hands over in halls. You're absolutely right. That actually is a bit of a problem. He's going to use it to try and get out from the balcony there. A little bit of a shoulder peek, and Kenny was ready to take one more. Nearly connect with that one. Five seconds left here, so JW can't actually win the round. He could still do some excellent damage, but that's not going to be a feature either. Nice triple.
they have no defensive grenades on B. I was almost panicking and losing my mind when I saw Amanek alone there. Now it's Kenny moving up close, but there's the whole team on the other side. Fnatic, yeah, this is, oh no, it's not even a kill. He can't make it back around the corner, and this UMP, it can't stop the entire Swedish lineup. There's absolutely no way he can do this. They're coming for him. Golden to open up on Nexa as well, and suddenly, yeah, the round has just disappeared. I think even if Kenny gets that kill, they still probably lose this round. That's so hard to hold. I think the unfortunate thing for Kenny is if he actually keeps swinging, if that player doesn't run into his crosshair, he peeks wider and he probably grabs one that's close up to him, which means he'll have that the time to difference. fall away. Yeah, if he took a shot at a player that's very far back, not realizing they were close around the corner and no time to run away. So Fnatic might be aware if they do head to Hulls. Utility exchange in Banana. Here come those nades towards Logs again. Golden eats some damage, but the flashbangs are just so perfect. Golden sees it all. Good headshot onto the first, and he spotted a lot, and Brolin doesn't check it twice. Mid control for Fnatic. Kenny's gonna push up. There is an opera holding the angle, but they all missed the opportunity. JW trying to equalize. The flick's not quick enough. He's gotta back away. That's kind of cool. Again, flashed in from Pit to try and retake that control. Flusher does go down. So, five to four, one round lead for Fnatic. Another buy coming in for the Swedish side on offense. They're gonna feel much more comfortable. Again, only two players to defend. They didn't bring that third wow. over, so all the utility is used early, but it does work. Flusher down to 11, and Kenny's got a pick on the other side. So, like, up banana we go, standard set piece. And Ooh. Kenny, again, last time he tried this, it didn't go well. He needs that close peek. He needs to find Golden, not the players from behind. And it's deja vu. It's the same exact thing all over again which has got to be frustrating, but they're still in a good position to win the round. Yeah, they are. Just keep it cool here. A little bit of a flashbang for Amanek to maybe take a peek. Oh, Crims! That's a stunning headshot to take down Amanek. We'll see what happens. No more grenades either. He set up for it. A couple of flashbangs rain in. They have a Molotov as well, and if that lands on Crims, he's absolutely done. Flusher, oh, instant headshot. That's a good pick off there. Where yeah. you get a, you get like three lives. So, listen, it's been a while. Amanek's got an opening kill. Four people at the A-bomb site at somewhat of a less risk. He's still playing over. They've still got a smoke, and as long as he keeps jumping and not challenging and just waits to put the smoke up, it should be all fine. Fnatic going to try and see if they can take a little bit of mid-control without hopefully losing anyone, because then they can start to build their way back. Again, five rounds is pretty good for the Swedish side, but obviously they would love another one just to see if they could get it in here at the end. He build a little bit more. Hunter sneaking in a kill. Golden gonna be a bit upset at that one. And they're still sticking in the corner. No Molotovs to burn them out. Kenny coming through with the kill before he goes down. But yeah, that mid control not being allowed. That's what we saw earlier. Whenever Fnatic try and hang around there, G2 come and find them. I think, I think the big key to this G2 side so far, whether it's the op from Kenny S able to pick off Fnatic players swinging around corners going for their duels, or whether it's just multiple bodies and utility at the point of attack, now they have Kenny with the AWP, this time not being aggressive, so the health matters a little bit less. And he's got the support of Amanek, who's waiting in the far back, waiting in dark for Kenny to take a shot and drop away. Just one flashbang to force him off the angle. Kenny might get caught again. Oh, that's a great recovery. And Amanek gets the other one, allows him to fall back into safety. He does eventually go down, but Amanek and Kenny S have delivered a man advantage in this round 15. Bomb attempted. Oh, oh through the coffin. Golden never stood a chance, and they needed that bomb plant to happen instantly. Now, Crims is on it instead of 2 on 4 in the after plant here for Fnatic, and they just don't even know where to stand right now. G2 coming in from every single side, and it will be one more round. 10 to 5 at the end of the half, favoring the G2 lineup. And an 8 on Golden with the kit. JW's going to see nothing, but he's got to be careful with his timing. He's so committed. Oh, that is really brutal that that was the exact moment to, to just go for the peak. I think he was remaining quiet in case there was a flashbang to a peak, and it just, it just worked out perfectly for him. But well, yeah, it could be a question. They're going to go for it. Immediate execute and a five on five. Oh, what? On five here. Golden somehow hits a shot on Kenny. The bomb being planted on the other side, and they make the jump over to avoid any more shots through the smoke. They are playing Fnatic after all. Golden still trying, and he's almost succeeding. They're going to triple up on him. They're going to go. That smoke is going to fade, and they're all waiting for him. And down at Banana, Jax is saying no one is retaking from this side, so they know where Fnatic are coming from here. Three on three, and Flusher comes through with a headshot. He wants more. Brolin to help out, and now it's Jax. Smoked out. How, is, how could he stop this? They're lining up in front. They're just guarding that bomb deep. Oh, he's oh, gone! He actually shoots him in the back of the head. They're going to get back on the bomb. Jax, one more bullet will do it, but Fnatic will get the defuse. He almost had it. 
He's having a... Yeah, he's fired up. Even after losing that round, you can tell. Quad kill for him. That's so well done. Oh, no. And now they just power through to the next round. They get the bomb plant down and they go for the upgraded rifles. And Brolin is alone at this bomb site with not a chance in hell. They're all coming for him. He's going to get the one kill, but they're flanking around. He actually does pick up one more. Hasn't even reloaded yet. This shouldn't be happening. They had him alone in the bomb site. Now he's hiding inside of the smoke and he's going to have a chance to reload. Backup is being called for. What a turnaround. This young star has actually managed to bring his team back into this round. Now Golden is hiding in there, and they don't even know it. He gets the kill on Amanek, and now it's a two-on-two. -two. And Flusher, he's waiting inside the smoke on the other side. A jump pass, Flusher comes out, and Hunter will barely win the round. Yeah, this one is a bit more of a conservative round from their point of view, and it makes sense again, just given the gravity of this current economic situation here. 50 seconds on the clock, it crims, nice pickoff. But on the other side, JW losing on Archway, and that means they're being pushed inside of the bomb site. Hunter nearly getting the swing and the kill there. Amanek trying to do it, the speed behind the Mac 10 but they're not checking for crims, and he could buy a bit of time. They're shooting through the wall, and he ran out of bullets. Deep grenade, it does land on a couple of people. Can they actually bring it back here? They need this round, Fnatic, there's Golden. Nice kill, and still no bomb plant. A two on two, that Fnatic could absolutely win, and must. Mexa was so patient coming off the balcony. His play from Hunter is very risky. Those smokes, when they start to fade, a bit of a coin toss. And he actually might double up with Nexa. Okay, getting together, perhaps wanting to get aggressive, but it's against Flusha. Certainly he reads it, but he no. The smoke clears, immediate kill for Nexa. Out in the open, he's got Golden as well. Nexa shuts him down, 14 to six. Yeah, they've just been waiting. Right at the corner of Quad here. Gonna try and see if they can retake it with not that much time left. That would be cool for Fnatic again. If they could beat the timing, it's all they really need. Nice return as Hunter does go down, but at least Jax will pick up that one. Roland finds an angle near the hay cart. 20 seconds as they oh, jump what? into the bomb site and knocking out Flusher. That's a disgusting kill from Jax. More bullets than he would have had to kill in the pit as well. 14 seconds now, and they just plant inside. They don't even clear the bomb site. They just run in and put the bomb down, and Jax flying through the smoke. And that bomb is ticking quickly already. JW gets the kill on uh, Kenny right away. And Jackson Nexa, they're actually trapped inside of here. Two versus three. Fnatic need this round more than anything. They want a chance to fight here for map number one. And Jax, he's not even scared. He's just up on the box looking for the fight at every angle. He's been so crisp already. He gets one and he's ready and a quad kill. What a round from Jax yet again. He's 22 and eight. The kind of rounds that Fnatic love to steal away, and they've had plenty of chances. The kind that they thrive in, the yeah. kind that they you normally see them coming out on top, that's their bread and butter. That's where they've won and lost their championships over their history. Crims, wrong way at the wrong time, and Jax gets a freebie. Yeah, they've just rotated over now, but there's going to be another set execute coming in. There's going to be smoke, there's going to be Molotovs and those choke points. Here we go. The whole map is on this. Great counter flash, actually, and Golden. Nice amount of damage. That's a good way to get started. The kill would have been better. Follow Avicii is decent enough, but can they actually win this? Oh no! Through the smoke once again! He's got the knife out looking for someone planting inside. And Amanek, he doesn't know where Flusher is at the moment. He's down below. I can't believe he's not dead yet! Finally, they get rid of him, but it's only 30 seconds. And JW, through the smokes, through the wall, what is wrong with Fnatic? It's now Amanek in a one versus two. They should have won this round already, and they still might. But that bomb plant, how do you put it down? They can come through the smoke. There's no safety. He's reading that, he's seeing the boost and almost looking for it. 12 seconds now, and he goes down. Seven rounds now for Fnatic. Calculated risk, just going for a timing shot. Counter flash, oh, Flusher almost gets caught. And do they want to press the issue? There's the nades, and they don't all, oh my god, they've done it. Flusher's at two HP. The nades have worked perfectly, but Flusher's still here. Only two. And look, Crim's coming from behind. You've got JW with the op in front and the Molotov. Crim's, it's your turn. It's a nice lineup, in spite of the fact that G2 actually heads up play for them to turn around and see it coming, they maybe could have won that fight. But Kenny, he has to go back and pick up the bomb, and that's a, that's a little bit of a problem. Nice double kill out of Flusher, that makes a massive difference. If he just goes down with no reply, then it's all done. Crims instead, saving it also at the end. 28th round, some pistols, and an AK-47, a UMP, they're gonna try and see if they can rush them down, a banana again, they want the knockout punch to try and win the map right now, and they they catch Flusher, finally they managed to beat him to it, smoke is up, but Jax wants to continue, there's a bit of a gap, the flashbangs, they might have found a way, they might have just done it, Golden back here, he gets overrun, and Crims, he couldn't see anything to help him out with, 
a three on four. Grenade around the corner, does land right on top of Kenny and Amanek, but that's not the problem. The problem is the time that's left here. They need to be so quick about it. They need to move right now, or they're gonna run out of time. A Molotov going over, all the way in the back, burning out Nexa. They take him down, three on three, but there's almost no time left. They need to move right now. It's it, oh, nearly getting the double. Crims goes down, and Hunter through the smoke. They have found it, 16 to 12, G2. They managed to close the door, and Fnatic, not an easy task. I guess if they come through middle, that would be a way to do it if they can take the, out Golden. Yeah, that's possible. Also, the, the smoke at the base uh, right at the end of the halls allows them to creep up. You gotta get lucky through that smoke at the very least. Golden's gotta be careful backing away. A lot of players in middle. I don't know how he got that shot. I can't believe he got that shot. And this is almost an impromptu mid to be split. That's gonna be, well, slowed down by the push from Long, but now G2 have found a new avenue to the bomb site. Krim steps up. He wasn't that good on Inferno. Let's see if he could bring it back here, missing a chance. They're not gonna get another one. Hunter doesn't even stop running to take that shot. That's a, an absurd way to go down. Roland and Golden now. They can still win the round, but it's just got a lot more tricky. Run boost, good way to try and see them get up on catwalk. But how do they find all four players? They are going to have to look for such a long time before they actually find every single one. They don't currently have a kit picked up. I don't know if there's one on the ground somewhere, but yeah, they're even splitting up. I, don't, I think that's a mistake. Well, I don't, I don't think there's any good winning recipe in this one, especially because there's players hiding and it's Hunter who's playing contact, and now they know where everyone is. Oh, that's a good shot from Golden. Almost maybe another one. There's Brolin chiming in, and all of a sudden it's doable, but a one versus two, and Brolin knows exactly where they both are. The shots don't come fast enough. Too difficult to go between the targets and another pistol for G2. A lot of head armor for the Fnatic side against those MAC-10s. Molotov comes in, but Hunter's already passed it. And he's turned, he's dodged his own flashes, and look how crazy that is. The tracking of Golden, he's got a second. Nice defense out towards Long, good opening defense at Long. Even with the MAC-10 leading the charge, that can still be a very powerful hit. Part of it, the weaponry. Possibly, but even then, a nice job. Flush over the triple. Should be making Fnatic nervous. Crimson pulled over. It's just Golden, gonna try and find an angle, but Jax is almost waiting for this exact play. He's looking for it underneath the smoke. If Golden wants to get aggressive, here comes the turn. Jax goes down. Golden spamming through, no follow-up. The nades are perfect. They've slowed it down. They've done good damage. And Flush is looking to get involved now as well. Creeping inside of the smoke, only 18 seconds. And very low health on Hunter trying to put the bomb down. I don't know if there's any grenades. No, there's not. So at least the bomb will be down, and that's a bit of an issue. Nice kills, though, coming through from Crims and Flusher, and that leaves Amanek. He is flanking, and... He can't do yeah, anything. No, he can't really do much, can he? I was gonna say maybe he could have run there, but I think they've got it all on lockdown. Certainly with the Molotov, it's it's not worth throwing away the rifle. No, but I think you might want to look for an AK-47, a Krieg, an AWP, anything that's, you know, a chance. Yeah, you can see that off there. Good peek from Crims. And you can see as well with Brolin dedicated to the B bomb site, Fnatic don't have all the information necessary. Oh, no, Golden. Oh, this is not good. That's too early. You do not need to make that play at a five on five. I don't know if Crims is trying to set it up for him automatically there. 38 seconds, a little bit of a gap, and that's a leg shot. The follow-up not gonna happen, though. Time is a bit of a concern now. Jax has the bomb, probably didn't want to give that over to someone else where there's only 30 seconds left, just in case they land the last second grenade that you didn't know about. 25 seconds now, and Jax still holding it back there. I would love it if someone else would pick up that bomb and not have it be Jax. 18 seconds, and I'm getting more nervous all the time. Oh, there's the grenade on Jax. 12 seconds now, JW will go down, and Hunter, not nearly as soft, and he's going to be able to put the bomb down, but that is a risk right there. Three on four, and Fnatic, even though they don't really have that much of an economy, they have enough to buy in the next round, but still, they're going to go for it. A man down, they don't care. They want to fight back right here and right now. Brolin sneaking up, Crimson Flusher as well, trying to see if they can help it out. But Hunter's got such a good position. Good kill for Crims. Brolin is going to get dropped, and Flusher can't really get into the round. There should be no chance here. Kenny, long range. Taking out Crims, it'd be interesting to go back and... That's more aggression from Fnatic that just doesn't do anything. They're usually much more successful with this. Yeah, you're right. You'd want to talk to Golden and just ask, you know, from his point of view, what was the call? Smoke at the corner, Flusher alone, and he is trucked by Jax. There's another smoke coming over from Long. You got a teammate, Golden is here, but Hunter ready and waiting, transfers over. Good kills from Crims. Golden as well. It's just this long hit for G2. 
A huge double kill for Crims. That is so important. We've been asking for his contribution for a while now. And that was a round where I've pretty much set it up nicely. Golden also with a triple. Now they're calling Kenny's number, at least giving him a chance to go for a pick, and this is going to be a contact play. Pop flash in, Brolin on scopes, and that's perfect timing. Golden tucked into the corner, they line up, but Aminex got the follow. And the beef bomb site is near impossible to retake in this kind of a situation. Usually Alpers like to get out of that fire when they're going to have about 50 HP. Kenny stayed that extra half second or so. All top to clear close mid. That does not work whatsoever. That's what supposed to be a smoke. I just want to point that out. Okay, that would make more sense. <laughs> it doesn't matter either way. One for one. And there's JW picking one off in the upper tunnels. Hunter swings out first. The Deagle not connecting, but the AWP is. JW starting to be a force to be reckoned with. That's the kind of JW we want to see. Really, really fast shots there. And no chance at all. I saw the Molotov come out. I was going to try and give him the benefit of the doubt. I was like, maybe he knows some lineup that I don't know. <laughs> 15th round coming up now. Fnatic double AWP. I still think eight is... That's a high mark to reach. Again, G2 definitely not a team you want to underestimate on Dust2. So I think they've done a fine job. There's JW in the middle. He's, he's warmed up into this game. He's starting to really feel it now. Can he still with the Molotov? And maybe... I, Brolin is close to the middle. And he's going to go for a bit of a spam there. Takes down one. Does a bit of damage to Hunter. Let's leave Golden alone. They're going to be smoking it manually this time. Nothing over the wall, just right in front. Golden peeking in, and he is quick. I am so impressed by Golden. How is it that he's able to do just everything all at once? He'll finally fall to Kenny, but the bomb is right in front. And how do they pick it up? Only 27 seconds. There's Kenny making a run right back into the hands of Crimson. That was an easy shot. Amanek in a one versus three with 20 seconds, and there is no way. Nine to six at the end of the half in favor of Fnatic. And Hunter's going to get aggressive. Waiting in lower dark, they want to bait him in. Crims flusher, they've taken so much damage. This might be, this might be a great start. But actually, look at JW. He's clearing out everything. He's about to say, guys, there's there's nothing here. But I don't know how you rotate back if you're fanatic. There's a good headshot. That might be the first start. USP now in the hands of Brolin. JW causing issues. Oh no, the bomb. The bomb is dropped. Oh, this is so awkward. The bomb lost to the T side. Jack's getting one more kill. You're right, they had it all. Now, JW's flanking, so if they can keep their cool, if Flusher can stay alive, maybe there is a bit of a chance here. Still a minute, plenty of time to work with. He's not seeing anyone. Medium range, but Jax turns just in time. Well, J JW, one versus three. He's got Nexus so incredibly low, but he has no idea where anyone is in the bomb. Um, the clock now is an enemy as well. It's essentially a one versus four at this point. 14 seconds. He's going to head over towards A, jumping up onto Catwalk. But remember, there's a player here, Jax, who's going to fight him every step of the way. I don't even know if he can get there in time. Even if Jax just hides, I don't even think it's possible. JW going to go down. Ooh, that's a quick shot that almost hit. He was blinded. JW, how aggressive do you want to get? Molotov and Smoke going to slow you down. Hunter pushing mid. If he doesn't stop, he's going to walk right into his death. The, the tiny bit of it that, that's, that's in there. That remains. <laughs> that's been given any love over the years. It's somehow won. <laughs> Flashbang over. Mid push. Flush up. Can eat this alive. Almost transfers down. Nexa, 46 HP. That's a lot of info for Fnatic, though. Yeah, that's a flash off catwalk that they can call. It's two players pushing mid. They should know a lot about what's coming. That orb is still in play from Kenny. Makes you a bit worried. Smoke, not going to slow them down that much. Can they avoid the shot here? He's just trying to look for the edge. Next, that goes down. So now it is all on Kenny, and he doesn't get the flick. And waiting for him, all the way back here is Crim's immediate headshot. That is so quick. One player in close mid heard that. Brolin can't win the fight. It's just Nexa. A one-on-one -on -one heads up fight. That's a big one for Nexa to take. Jax is playing alone over at Long, Amanek alone in B. And that mid defense, though, is really strong. So we'll see what Fnatic actually end up going for. Now being a man down, Jax, a bit of an off angle. Molotov not in time to actually cause all the pressure on him. And now he's just hiding back here at the bottom. Nexus got a line covered in towards this. And there will be a kill from that stolen op on Kenny eventually. So they're kind of locked down here, Fnatic. Even if they win the fight now, it probably is going to be way too late. Flashbang to set it up, and Nex are coming in to help out. That's a that's just a round where Fnatic don't even get to have much of a say at all. Yeah, they don't get to play the game. I think here, if you're J if you're JW, definitely toss the op away at this point. Who knows if G2 wants a double op setup, but you certainly don't want to hand them two free AWPs when you've already given Kenny one. 
What if he? What if he? Yeah, there we go. What if he pushes the the football out just to trick it and then shoot? You mean the soccer ball? I don't. I can't even get invested in that fight. <laughs> I'm actually not either. I just. See if they can smoke off Amanek. Now, Hunter's all the way inside. Nexus falling back. The timing. Oh, it could be perfect right now for Fnatic if they can break their way through. Early grenades coming in. Nexa, he's back in middle. He knows that something is going on here. But they're watching it. Smoke goes up. Brolin, he's dropped by Kenny just before the smoke actually lands. Incredible timing. Crims coming through the window, but he can't see anything. They're all hiding inside of the smokes here. And he's just sitting and waiting. What a defense this is all of a sudden. It's falling. No, Crims doesn't care. That's... I actually thought that the backup was going to come in and shoot him in the back in that window, but they find a way through, and now G2 got to think long and hard about retaking this flusher, losing the fight to Jax, but still. I, I, I would go for it. And G2's going to fall back, and this one might be it right here. Good flashbang, though. Forced off the angle, but it's JW biding his time and just baiting out the shot. And now I think you have to save. They're going to go for it. JW grabs woman. Jax bails out. So does Kenny, but I don't know if he can make it. Crims. That's a beautiful shot to take the AWP out of his hands. An expensive attempt. Both teams, uh, well, not so much Fnatic, but G2 starting to struggle for money. Again, and another opening for JW. Jaminek pushed very far forward, but if he gets the kill, could he actually get back? Again, it's a big question if he gets the first or the second guy in line. Just an elbow, and he's back around the corner. What an excellent pickoff. Amanek in the back with an AWP at the B bomb site. Nexa at the lip of the tunnels. Golden might get caught off guard. He's got no gun in his hands. He's got his knife out, and Nexa punishes that. And that ruins the strategy. Again, caught with the nade. And I don't know how Hunter transferred over. Two on three. Kenny at the bomb site, and time is ticking. Nexa's pushing up a dark. Kenny, if he gets a kill, there's absolutely no round. Missed another chance here, and they're getting a little bit closer now. He sees the second player and he's calling it in. He's just saying, I've got him on this side. Just come quick. Berlin, I don't think it matters any longer. He's low on health and Kenny will save it. A big double kill. No I think, connections. I think G2 might read a low economy. They sent three players over to B, but it's actually only Almanac. It's only the AWP. This could be this could be ruinous. Dodges the flashbang. He's got the life shot. He's going to go down. How much can Nexa and Hunter provide? They have to get into this site. They have to slow them down. Somehow, Hunter with the first. HP is dropping for Fnatic. This whole round is just a little bit of a lottery right now. Flashbang over the wall to try and buy a little bit more time. JW now looking at the window. Oh, and he's not going to get the kill, but Brolin will follow up from JW. Can he do it? Oh! He likes him as he comes in! And a two on three. Fnatic need this round. They want that third map. And they're so close to doing it now. G2 flushing all of the rifles into the B-bomb site. But the Swedes will find a 14th round. Makes it so much more doable. Now out on long, standing in the fire like Kenny was. Gonna be put up by teammates. Oh, but look at the aggression one more time. They push up her dark. It's two kills traded back and forth, but that's the entire B side of the map is lost for Fnatic. And more aggression everywhere, all over the place. Fnatic getting a taste of their own medicine. They're not liking it either. No, they, they, they really don't enjoy it. Crims waiting there. And this is what was happening to Fnatic when they were pushing this longhouse as well. They kept getting shut down. JW's got the middle, and Crimson and Golden are out long. Kenny with a FAMAS at range. He wish he still had that AWP. By the time he sees them, they're going to be on top of him, and that'll make it really rough. Good <laughs> timing again with the grenades, and a flashbang to slow it down more. Calling in for backup, Amanek is going to be running there. Weird fight, but on top of the smoke, Kenny coming out on top. That's such a huge double kill, and they even hurt JW. I don't know. It's very hard to put those grenades down in a position where they actually help you. But that might be the only way to do this. Uh, JW is going to wish he kept the AWP. 18 seconds. Going to peek down towards Pit. They've double peeked him. Kenny. For it. They're waiting around for a long time, which is always scary when you're losing map control, basically. The grenades are up. Pretty good counter grenade. At least trying there. Looked like it fell behind them. And next, I wish he had more backup. He's going to swing for the fight, but Golden will immediately drop him. One more entry here for the Swedish captain. He's been just a star player in this game. Hunter trying to see if he could maybe get through the smoke, but Golden is waiting on the other side. 40 seconds as they put the bomb down. The smoke fades, and Amanek will get a bit of revenge. Crims is there hitting a headshot with the Krieg, and now a three on three. They have two smokes and two kits to try and get this retake in with. Oh, Fnatic are going to be at map point. Crims landing another one, and it is looking good for Fnatic. Amanek in a one versus three, and he can't do anything. Just has to fall back. Map point for the Swedes. Set it up. They are looking to see if they can flash their way into a long fight. 
Actually, they just threw their flashbang and no one peeked, so I'm not sure about that. They're all set up at the corner. Scout to put a single shot, but a lot of people up close. Can they get the timing down right? They've caught a lot of people with grenades in their hands. This time it's not going to be one of them. It is all rifles and jacks. He just doesn't even care. Dinks to people with the deagle and puts them to sleep. And now they're back around the corner. Flusher's on the other side with a bomb. Good shots from Jax. This should be the round where they just put an end to it, where G2 don't even have a say in it. Oh, down the middle! A third kill on JW. Can he get more? He doesn't have any more in him, surely not. He's already done almost everything they need. Amanek with the UMP and now Brolin in a one versus three. And there's no point in running. There's only 30 seconds. Might as well just go for the straight up fight and hope that you could do it. He takes out Jax. And now, can he get the bomb plant? Kenny's on the one side there. I don't think he's even got much time here. Faking it will just buy more time. Yeah, he goes straight for it. And a little bit of a pre-fire there from Kenny. That Krieg, I don't know if it's enough to buy them this round. He's so low on health as well. And now Nexus going to be showing up with that AK-47. If they knew how low he was, they'd just be using the pistols. They both come through. Oh, he does get it. No health, but the accuracy, 16 to 11. Fnatic, they get that third map. And here we go. Utility already being thrown over. It's going to be a drop down ladder. It's going to be very, very quick. These USPs at the range can be so deadly. Fighting out in the open, Jax can't connect. Forced back towards the ladder, and Fnatic have overtaken the bomb train. But here's the counter flashes, and now the battle begins. Oh, that was actually the bomb that went down. Roland gets a shot in the face. Crims is out as well, and it's just Flusher and JW left. A fadeaway shot as he makes it past the E-Box, and he can defend this for a while. Kenny trying to get close, and he'll land one more. A good double for him and for Jax, and G2 will pick up the pistol round in style. Well, in the ladder room we go. Jax was there pretty quick. No one committed. Good shot from JW. Not a tough one. Kenny S walks right into it, but the ladder room presence is going to allow the rotation to get here in time. They hear the footsteps. Golden is already trying to cheat his way down. He's very low. That actually might force Fnatic back. Yeah, they did some team damage before they even got it on the ramp, so I'm really confused about that. Similar smokers to the last round. Nexa, he's immediately traded. That is a good push. Upper and lower at the same time. And Amanek might want to think about running over this AWP. Jax is weirdly flanking, but again, it doesn't matter when there's only one player on the other the side. The bomb is down, though. So yeah, that's he why he's flanking. He might have a chance at least to slow things down, get them into the action, but the bomb is picked up now. The question is how long does Jax want to risk this weapon for this kind of a play, and, well... He had no choice. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there wasn't, wasn't more of a defense set up in there for G2. They actually knew a little bit beforehand, and they still kind of got caught by that upper part of the push. Ooh, the flick down doesn't connect, but JW knew exactly where he was, and Brolin again comes right through that smoke. Wow. That's the op down. Yeah, and that was just range. Crims able to take it with the Krieg. Hunter up on top of the Famas. He's actually not going to get that kill. Away. Amanek instead, but he will finish off Golden right afterwards. Hasn't reloaded yet and has enough bullets for the kill. He gets late and finally take it out, but that's pretty good just with the Famas. It's a two on two. I mean, I don't know. If Nexa gets a kill, I'm guessing no one will ever imagine that the second player is also coming in from main like this. Seeing it, kind of long range with the Famas. It doesn't matter. That's great accuracy out of Nexa. Not the best weapon for that range now. JW, yeah, he's so worried about it and trying to fall back. Can he actually stop this? The bomb is on the other side. You can shoot under the train, but I don't think he wants to rely on that. They're going to get very close. They line up in front of him, and that's scary. Instant kill, and back around the corner. Amnik, he's just going to sit, hold it in. JW, he's got it. yep, he's got it. Trying once, but not going to get it. And that's a big win for G2. Four rounds. Out behind E-Box now is Jax. And he's going to win the fight, actually, with the FAMAS. That's, again, not easy. With the Molotov on top, we could tell. And, yeah, even if they had stuck around next, they're not going to peak that. Smoke fades. And what a snipe from JW. A fight that he should not have been winning, but he did. And that brings it back in a 4 and 4 They might still be successful here. The Swedish team looking for a little bit of luck early on here in the half. Nexa, though, will take a double kill at the FAMAS. Turns it into a triple. That is outrageous. Thanks, Golden and Nexa. What a champion level play coming through here on the B-bomb side. That is so unlikely. They got the bomb back here. They got Crims over at T-Main for the minute. Amanek 
About to have a fight. That flashbang does nothing at all to him, but he can't land the headshot just yet. We see the coach there on the G2 side. Very tense at the moment, and for good reason. 35 seconds left. It's Flusher and Amanek traded. Brolan, that's a nice pick off. Finding Kenny, and now suddenly that defense is gone. Next, are trying to push through, and that was being controlled well. What an amazing hit here out of Fnatic. I did not think that was going to work out. Three smokes and a Molotov and an HE left. They have no flashbang, so you want those ops to be able to just hold angles like that. JW, that needed to be a kill. Now they know you're coming. Under a bomb side once again. A smoke to buy even more time. The Molotov just to try and make sure no reinforcements. Oh, but it's a two for one. I don't even know how. Amanek dropping JW and Flusher. We're going to need to see a replay of that. Crims at a one versus four. And there is nothing that he could do at the moment. Trying to get back behind cover, but Nexa will find him. Are they going to go for a double drop? It could. They could be setting up for it. He doesn't have a lot of health. And oh, he turns around. I'm shocked he got the kill anyway. Roland will take down Hunter. Amanek and Kenny now out in the yard, and next are on the flank, 40 seconds. This defense is going to be real close, and now that Kenny's gone down, it might not even be possible. Next are the flank is only good if there's any kind of a distraction, and he will get absolutely shut down. Flush up, instantly seen it. And now Amanek, I mean, they have enough money to buy in the next round, but again, saving the, saving the AWP would still be nice for them. Let's see if they can land a flashbang or anything to get rid of him here. 50 seconds, that's the bomb down at Ivy. Smoke, it actually does work out right in front of him, and he can just guess, and he's got it right. Taking down Golden, 40 seconds, they need to move. It, this has sort of already been found out. Jax is going to go down, not even checking behind him. A gap in the defense, 35 seconds. Kenny being brought in now from CT spawn as Hunter gets a kill on Crimson. Hunter's alone. He's got no backup out here. Brolin and Flusher are looking for him. Amanek trying to cover it, but Hunter got no chance. Amanek, can he do a bit more? The first shot was through the smoke, but now he needs to get that flick and it's not going to happen. JW sneaking close. No scope. Of course he tries that, but the bomb goes down and it's a three on three. JW covering two people in this lineup. Good kill on one. He escapes death, tries to get it through the wall, and now Nexa. Inside of the smoke and see connector in a one versus three. I can't believe that Fnatic finished to force their way into this A yard. They had to fight every step of the way, and they're going to finish the round right there. Brolin with a nice triple. The money not good on G2 here for the 15th round. They've bought whatever they can. Early attempt there for JW. Sticking around to eat that HE grenade and getting the kill on Jax, and it's all worth it. Here we go, almost. I think actually, was he tagged? No, that's Almanac up on top. It was Hunter who lost a little bit of HP. Kenny S holding on to Epox desperately, and Almanac slides into position. He's got another holding on to this first train, swapping out for the Krieg as well. And it's hectic outside in the yard, but Fnatic coming out on top. The three final kills get them up to six. Need to get a couple kills before they get this bomb planted. Flusha is going to be smoked off. He's going to transition forward actually on top of the train, but they need at least one. Five on five retakes the inner bomb set are so difficult, and they've already lost Crims. Kenny has picks him off long range with a Glock. And almost, oh, almost another one. Brolin's down to 20 HP. Really accurate shots coming out now for G2, making life hard on Fnatic. How do you actually retake this? They have a smoke and a kit themselves, but that's not a lot of comfort when you can't even get close to the site at the moment. Jax, a little bit spotted out, actually forced back into a fight. I can't believe he's still alive. JW and Golden and Fnatic fighting their way back. He hasn't had a chance to reload yet. Jax will find one more kill for the double, and now it's all on Flusher, and he's not going to get a chance either. Hunter will take him down, but Jax actually picked up a double. Might as well do it. Even if Flusher does everything perfectly at this moment, if Golden dies too early, if Golden cannot cover the upper ramp, they're in trouble. There's the Molotov. This is such a weak defense at the bomb site. Golden trying his best. Oh. One more headshot. Outrageous. I can't believe he managed to get both of them. This shouldn't be happening right now. They had nothing in here. Flush is still trying to hold on to it. The MP9 and looking up, up, but sneaking in behind is Brolin. And now they're in a lot of trouble, G2. This should have been their round. They had the right read, the right call, and almost no defense. But it's falling apart. Hunter going down, and Kenny on 12 health, and Fnatic will win the round. This is where they have to make... Yeah, I absolutely agree. Maintain the economic lead. Rush towards Flusher. MP9 in play. He wants to fall back and just put down the Molotov. That's smart. Again, just make this expensive. But through the smoke, a little bit of justice and revenge. And Golden, he goes down. Amanek is charging them. He's got 17 kills. And now he's trying to catch them. Close to the AWP. Taking down JW. What is going on? Brolin and Crims left. This is not how this was supposed to play out. They just wanted to economic damage. But they may get the round. Fnatic shell-shocked. Brolin inside of it has no idea what's hit them. 
around for G2. I can't believe it. They're setting up for a bit of an execute. Let's see if JW over rotates. If he starts running, Amanek will hear it. He's hiding inside of the smoke. And on the other side, let's see. Execute in, but JW patient. He'd already been called in by a team. I'm guaranteeing they'd already called that out. Nice entry anyway. Jackson Nexa opening up the bomb site. They just cannot hold it. Fnatic, this is a nightmare. Another kill comes through. Jax is unrelenting and he's finally brought down, but that double kill might have still done it for them. Crimson Broland, what do you do? You have to save. There's, I mean, Flusha had the kit. That's going to be at the inner bomb site somewhere, but how do you find the kills quick enough to even pick that up and recover it and go for more? And this is everything you have. Your money's even worse after this round if you lose everything. There's Nexa finding Brolin, and Crims has to back away. He'd love to pick up a better gun, but this B bomb site is wow. crumbling. It's it's bold to call B hits that frequently. Amanek out mid, he's picked off. But yeah, it's all on this round here. The Swedes, they need seven in a row. They can make no more mistakes. And G2 coming out through the smoke, trying to take a bit of a fight at Pop Dog. It's looking very disjointed right now for G2. We've been segmented out here in the yard and pinned down behind all the train carriages. Not looking good at the moment. And that's a flawless round out of Fnatic. Very, very deep Ivy Smoke on JW. Flash bang, and he just takes the timing shot. Molotov to try and hold him back. I think they would actually have loved to have tried to speed that up and again, just draw back that B defense, maybe. They're gonna go for it anyway here. Oh, they're gonna try to right. old school split through yeah. CT spawn. He's so ready for a JW. He's in such a safe position. Does miss the chance, and Kenny, that's a CC. Nice taps going on. I mean, Kenny's pulling so much attention away. The beat bomb site is wide open. This is a completely faked out the defense. Fnatic, oh, yeah, no. it's a Galil, it's a MAC-10, and it's a Deagle. It's still going to be a tough retake. Yeah, they're really far away. It's going to be 10 seconds before they're even close to doing this, so that's already so much time off the bomb. There's a single flashbang on Nexa. Out of all the ways you could lose, this is not how you want to try and do it. And look at how paranoid they are. They're so worried about someone being pushed up forwardly that they're still waiting. Fnatic, now is the time to move. They don't have a smoke to try and go for the, def for the defuse. They need to run and shoot right now. Time is of the essence. Amanek goes down. Nexa and Hunter left trying to stay tall here. Nexa has dropped. And that means Hunter up on the high ground. He's going to have to jiggle peek this all day. They're already on the bomb. And that's a little bit of a shutdown. Scott. Right back to it. Brolan immediately oh, on no. the defuse. Three kills. They no! don't get it. Done it. You have done it.